Hello everybody, when you clicked on this video you probably thought this was going to be another sad sad video where I go Oh man, game not fun anymore, man I quit <laughs> But you got debated, this is probably the pure opposite of that actually So the purpose of this video is basically me just explaining what I think I'm going to do with OC Mania and also just the channel in general and also kind of asking for some advice, but like not crazily. Like I know a lot of you people are just regular players and some of you are ET and you're not like some crazy professional coaches, but if anyone has any advice for some of the stuff I'm going to talk about, that'd be pretty cool because just trying to figure out where to go next in Mania, because obviously I want to carry on my Mania career and I want to get better and better. But I think what I'm doing right now just isn't really working out. It's getting a bit frustrating and, you know, it happens. Skill walls, hard stuck, it is what it is. But I think I'm going to try to take a bit of a new direction. So, yeah, we're just going to be talking about a bit of that in this video. So I hope you enjoy. So to get into the real meat and potatoes of the video, the first thing I want to talk about is my current playstyle in OC Mania, which is push, 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 and push even more. For the last like year in Mania, all I've been doing is pushing, playing maps out of my comfort range, and I absolutely love it. It is so much fun. I adore it. It is definitely the most fun I've ever had with rhythm games and Osu Mania is only my second rhythm game ever like Osu Standard is my first rhythm game technically because like I, I haven't played any rhythm game other than Osu Standard for more like an hour like I haven't played any rhythm game other than Osu Standard for more like more than because I haven't played any other rhythm game for more like more oh my god I haven't played Osu Standard for more than like no oh my god i haven't played any game other than osu for more than like a couple hours so osu standard my first room game osu mania my second and first bsrg ever by the way so yeah I, i've been really enjoying pushing you know playing seven star lm maps and stuff like that is it's really fun and obviously because i've been doing that so much my consistency has gone down the drain so I think I want to steer myself into a different direction now because I've realized, you know, I'm really hard stuck and pushing is no longer seeming to fix the issue. And, you know, I, I enjoy pushing still and trying my best, but eventually you do get a bit bored of doing the same thing over and over. So I have been trying to get some new maps as well to try and help myself out a bit. But I think at this point, the problem is my fundamentals because obviously my consistency down the drain. So I think now I want to start practicing accuracy a bit more, but obviously it's not something I really enjoy. So, it, you know, it's going to be a bit of a struggle, but it's not like I hate it as much as I hate 7K. I can't force myself to play 7K. It's just not fun. Accuracy, I can kind of enjoy it, but if I'm trying to like FC grind and SS grind, then I'm not going to enjoy it. I just want to try and learn how to get more consistency. So if anyone has any like tips and maps that they can share with me, that would be really cool if you can just drop that down in the comments. So I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. And yeah, so I just wanted to share my thoughts about, you know, what I'm going to be doing, what I should be doing, what I might not even do, because you never know. It depends how I feel, depends how I play. But I think I will try and practice act a bit more, especially because getting the mechanical keyboard where it, it feels amazing to play on. I really like this keyboard, especially for gaming actually now, but my ratio has just completely been destroyed. And that's like the one thing I had going for me for a while. So I definitely want to retouch on it and try and practice act a bit more to try and get a bit more consistent. But like, I have no clue what I'm doing on that front. In Osu Standard and Osu Mania, the two only rhythm games I've ever really played, I've never practiced consistency. I have no clue what I'm doing. So if anyone has any ideas, then again, that would be amazing. So yeah, my intention is to try and grind accuracy, but it's going to be a real grind if I'm trying to force myself to get into it. But I think I definitely do need to practice it because like I, I've had skill boosts where I've been able to do 230 and maybe even 240 BPM and almost like S rank. And I will still not be able to 99 like 200 BPM streams. I'll just break combo so much. So I think if I can learn how to hold a bit more consistently on streams and core jack and things like that, it will definitely help me out with pushing as well. So, you know, improving my fundamentals will probably help me a lot in the long run for trying to get better. Because I think, you know, not to toot my own horn or anything, I think I did improve pretty fast getting to four digit, especially considering this was my first VSRG. But in doing that, I was completely ignoring fundamentals exactly like I did in OC Standard. And, you know, OC standards kind of like a look into the future at this point where I don't want to be in the same position in Mania as I am in standard. I love standard sometimes, but in standard, I 
completely just fumble the bag with finger control. I don't know what I'm doing. I just mash. And I don't want to get to the point in Mania where I have no clue how to build combo. You know, because having the having those fundamentals is sometimes underrated a lot and a lot of people don't think about it. But there's a lot of grinding that goes into it, but it does pay off because it helps you get to the point where you can set good scores more consistently. So I think if I improve my ratio and I improve my consistency, I'll be able to hold a lot more, which will give me, you know, a stock of accuracy and ratio, which in the end will help me do better on some of the patterns I struggle with. And in turn, you know, more, more PP, more content. And we're going to get up there. We're going to be like two digits by the time I practice accuracy, guys. But in all seriousness, I, I do want to learn how to get better act. But maybe I don't want to go through the process of grinding for it because it just sucks. But, you know, you've got to put in the work and I'll try and find some enjoyment. And, you know, if you guys can help me out with some of that, that'll be amazing. But yeah, enough yapping about Osu Mania and me complaining about how I have zero consistency. That's all out of the way. That's my ideas and plans set. So if I don't practice accuracy, you guys can crucify me and tell me off and tell me to practice act because I actually genuinely think I should. But honestly, I just try try to find some enjoyment in it but sometimes you know i just can't and i just would rather push even if it's not great for my skills but enough enough of that for the youtube sides of things uh what i want to do with the channel yeah, there's quite a few things uh, obviously i've said a lot about how i like doing commentary and stuff and lethal company you know it, it came out of nowhere and i just can't stop editing more and more videos on it I'm trying to use Lethal Company to kind of break into more of the gaming sphere. And it has, you know, had some success with like the shorts, but obviously I want some long time viewers. And it'll be really amazing if you guys could go see some of the Lethal Company content, drop a like, drop a comment. I'd really appreciate it. I'm shilling so hard right now, please. But yeah, the, the content's actually really funny. Like genuinely, I, I really enjoy playing the game and editing about it. At least you have 200 hours in the game already and like, I played Risk Rain for like quadruple the time, like over days, and yeah, I still almost have more hours in Lethal Company now. I think it's like 200 compared to 400, which shows, you know, I, I just love the game and I would love to break out into some more gaming stuff and some more commentary. And yeah, just doing more bigger, bigger commentary videos is going to be really exciting for the future. And in terms for like milestones, like 2K, 3K, 4K, 5K, man, I, I can't think that far ahead. My brain's too small. I. I think I would like to do like a, a best of compilation at some point, but it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of editing and I, sometimes I just get a bit swamped with the editing and I just want to do nothing or just watch stuff. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And one thing I know for sure is I will definitely be recording when I go to COE. It's a OSU convention and that's going to be a really interesting video to edit and make because that's going to be you know the first IRL video the IRL incident is going to drop boys so yeah that's definitely going to be interesting to see for sure and as much as I love uploading OSU Mania and OSU standard videos I do want to break away from it a little bit because I find that OSU content mostly is really repetitive it's just a bunch of people uploading their scores like and it's cool right it's cool seeing top player scores and stuff like that but for a full digit like me you know there's so many more people like me I just I, you know uploading mania content and standard content sometimes just feels a bit boring because it's you know it's a simple process and there's not much creative stuff behind it it's just a cool play and again it, it's awesome right seeing people's plays but it's just the same thing every time right it's just a, a different play cool oh i got some pp cool whatever and so that is one of the reasons for me coming up with the whole changing the colors during diff spikes and the crazy thumbnails you know because that's just a bit of fun right i just enjoy doing that it's funny to just mess around and whack up a diff spike so you just can't see anything and another thing i found that was really funny i don't know if it was actually miyuka but i remember seeing the video posted where someone basically just kind of made fun of my editing style and i thought it was pretty funny oh my god bro oh hell, hell no man what the fuck man get your ass on my screen get your god out Spell my name wrong, by the way. But also, another one was the Twitter post of my thumbnail. <laughs> that thumbnail was inspired by uh, Phoenix Kitty. I just had to take uh, take a shot and have some loss. So yeah, ed editing like OC stuff like that is a lot of fun. But obviously, you know, 
doing it so much it just becomes a bit of a process and i don't want it to just suck right i want to do fun things it's a lot of fun but editing osu videos does get repetitive and i would like to break away from that a little bit because you know also the channel is built around osu and i love everybody that takes part in the osu stuff but i do want to branch out the other stuff and get to a similar level or maybe one day the same level on that stuff as we have with osu because then that'll give me the freedom to play other games because sometimes you can feel a bit trapped especially when you know you're doing content around osu because you kind of feel like you have to set good plays for content uh not just to play the game for fun so i think if we're able to get away from that a little i'll definitely be more motivated to just play osu for fun and that'll probably lead to more improvement honestly because every time my mental is like like there's like a process where i will take a break and i'll come back and i'll have the greatest mental right and things will be all right and then they'll go crazy right i'll be insanely good and then i'll just be trash dog and my mental will stay and it will stay and i'll keep going keep motivated and then i'll have that one day where the mental is not there and then another day where the mental is not there but then the mental comes back but i'm still doing bad but then a random day later i just go insane and i, I just play the game at like a random time like 10 p.m and i just go crazy because the mental's back fully right so yeah it, it's just nice to be able to play the game at any time instead of like feeling obligated to play it to like advance the channel and stuff i know i've probably said it a million times but at the end of the day osu's a game and you're meant to just enjoy games just have fun with them and in regards to warzone and minecraft content minecraft i just haven't really had the feeling to play it recently you know, Minecraft, I tend to go uh, in and out of playing it. You know, I have phases where I really want to play it and then I just don't really feel like it. So at the moment, no plans for anything Minecraft related. I know it's a shame because I did drop the Ragecraft episode one and yeah, it's going to be a whole thing, but I'm just not really feeling editing Minecraft stuff. So yeah, it's a shame, but it is what it is. And for the Warzone side of things, I haven't really played the game in a while. And I know a lot of you don't really watch any Call of Duty content from me but back in the day i used to always upload warzone videos it's pretty much where the channel started and i, I don't know maybe i'll revisit warzone i did reinstall it and like do all the millions of new updates but you know the, the game's just dead right like call of duty's in in a real hole right now they keep reusing content and being lazy just trying to get as much money as possible and until the game feels like it actually has passion put into it, I don't really have much incentive to play because it's just the same slop every year. So yeah, my, my stance on that is pretty much just might play some Warzone if I feel like it. If someone asks me to play Warzone, I might play. But, you know, I don't really have any want to play it. I mean, it, it was a fun game, right? Warzone 1 was really fun when I used to play it and I wish I could play it again, but... It is what it is, you know, I've moved on to better things and that is Lethal Company. Lethal Company, Lethal Company. There's definitely going to be more of that coming. I'm just going to shove Lethal Company down your throats. So you, you better enjoy it. That was so loud. But yeah, that's about everything. Just thought, you know, why not? Felt like talking about some stuff and letting you guys know that, you know, I want to do some different directions. So again, I, I know it's happened before, but Osu content, you know, it's going to be a bit all over the over the. the it's going to be a bit all over the place. Uh, I don't really have an actual schedule for that kind of stuff. But, you know, I'll, I'll still be streaming the game. Not as much, but I'll, I'll be doing it here and there. So, you know, check out some other content if you want to see more. I'd really appreciate the support because we're, we're trying our best to get up here. And, you know, we'll, we'll get there. We will get there. The grind will pay off. So, yeah, thanks for watching The Waffle. And I love you guys. See you guys in the next video. And let's roll that good old outro. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you all enjoyed my video, go check out my other videos and consider subscribing as it will make me feel good. I'll see you all in the next video.